Let's talk about this. Uh, soldiers got arrested after the photo surface of the Iraqi prisoners being abused, humiliated. Here's what President Bush said about it. Their treatment does not reflect the nature of the American people. That's not the way we do things in America. And so I, uh, uh, I didn't like it one bit. But I also want to remind people that those few people who, who did that do not reflect the nature of the men and women we sent overseas. Okay, before we start, what are the odds the Apollo just said, see, there's a woman there. I knew it. That's what they like to do to girls. But well, what do you guys think about this? It's not torture like the Iraqi no, torture videos. Let's keep it in perspective. Look. Yeah, but they're going to use it against us like they are. Right. Torture videos. And, say, and, and it's going to support all their propaganda, Al-Qaeda's propaganda, sure. everything. So, oh, see, they're exactly the way we portrayed them. It's shocking. Right. I'm like every other American. I saw those photos. and I just, you know, had to masturbate and yell, lucky boy. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not really, I'm not convinced yet that they're even authentic pictures because those asses weren't really hairy enough to be Iraqi. Yeah, that's I don't true. Think. <laughs> Could be photoshopped, yeah. yeah. That's where no, I But I mean, they're funny photos. I find them amusing. These are poor guys. These weren't even yeah. like regular army. They were reservist. Like two months ago, they're in Webster, Texas at the batting cages, and then now they're in Iraq <laughs> trying to have fun. And this is, uh, I've taken worse photos of people I really like who passed out after a party. <laughs> you know? You put a zucchini by their mouth, you get some Vaseline in there. It's all implied, but it's wonderful. That's yeah. true. It's not torture, but you know. No, it's not. Right. It, there is an American arrogance to it, because yeah. this is a prison where... Saddam Hussein tortured and killed thousands of Iraqis. And here we are desecrating the sacred place by taking funny photos. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a good point. And when we went to Guantanamo Bay, GT as I call it, all the guards there told me the prisoners throw like feces, which I hate to say, but you know, you can't curse on TV. And like urine at them all day and they weren't allowed to do anything. So there's two sides of it. You never read that story. It doesn't come out, even though it was yeah. obviously no big secret right. if they told me. And the gay so, pyramid I mean, is exactly. pretty funny. I've never seen the gay pyramid I mean, you have before. to be careful with that kind of stuff because you know more must have gone on though. Yeah. There's one guy that's always a little half, you know, and then when they're doing the gay pyramid, he starts shoving some. I mean, you know, you do have to know. <laughs> That's not acceptable, but and I think that right. the, uh, it, depending on the consistency, it's hard to be accurate with feces, too. It, you know, right. Can, <laughs> oh, but that's well, the other thing. depends on what right. they ate the night before. Well, let's right. do the so, other side. But your writers no. threw feces at me before I came out here. Well, at least. <laughs> no, but also, that was a sketch they wrote. You in, just, the, oh, right, in, so. in the gay pyramid, they covered those guys' heads, so they saved them the dignity of not having to make eye contact with right. whoever's balls were on his back. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't, oh, Jesus, dude, come on. Right. So, it really is depressing that they consider this torture and I've paid prostitutes to do that to me. <laughs> How did they get the photos? Did well, these guys go down and get them developed in town? No, dummy went. <laughs> one of them sent it to his friend at home and the friend's like, no, stupid. These are going to somebody. Oh. Is that true? Yeah. He sent it to one of his friends back home like, hey, isn't this funny? Oh, and the guy's like, great. not really. <laughs> uh, yeah, and they, I read something that for the uh, Iraqi people, that's like the most demeaning thing you can right. do to a male, too. You know, so it was like another level. What's I mean, it's well, fun right. for us. but Well, yeah. demeaning compared to what? When Saddam would cut their balls off yeah. and rape their wives in front of them? I mean, that's yeah, another level right. to me. But listen to this. Would he do that? A group of women calling themselves, <laughs> their companies called Take One for the Country have been gathering at bars near military bases oh, to have sex with soldiers before they go off to Iraq.